Well, we don't want to get everyone together and then not ask you to do anything. We need to act. We understand that getting everyone together and having a rally and, and standing together with friends is very important. But the fact is that there are two immediate threats to marriage. One are out of control legislatures. One are state legislators that aren't listening to their people. And as Bob said, they're going to come back. They're going to come back in Maine. And what are you going to do about it? Vote them out. You are the voters, exactly. And NAM is going to help in any way it can. We filed a lawsuit because there are attempts to silence us. People don't want us saying, this legislator voted for same-sex marriage, and you as a voter need to know that before you go into the ballot box. They don't want us saying that. And so we filed a lawsuit to be able to say that. And we're going to keep doing that. But what, what we need is to have all of your information so that we can get you uh, information on your legislator, important fights coming up. So we have folks with uh, NOM hats circulating around a, uh, a sign-up sheet, a petition, on this issue of legislators. But it's also on the second issue that we're fighting that we brought up earlier, and that's the courts. Mm -hmm. These judges have gone to a point where it almost seems a point of no return, doesn't it? Yes. When you can say with a straight face that the federal government has no interest and no history in defining marriage as the union of a man and a woman, as a court judge, Judge Toro, just did in Boston to overturn DOMA, then you are at a point where you are no longer looking at history, law, or facts. You are looking at what you want, your will, and imposing it on others. Now the reason that we started the tour here in Maine was because we did have such a great victory here. But also the timing of the tour is because any day, a the most important recent court decision will come out of a San Francisco court in California. That is the Perry case. What is that case? That is a case in which same-sex marriage advocates argue that Proposition 8 that defines marriage in California as the union of a man and a woman is not unconstitutional by the state constitution, but is unconstitution under the United States Constitution. Do we understand this? Somewhere in the U.S. Constitution, marriage is the union of two men or two women. That is what is being claimed. And the way that Judge Walker has managed this case and handled this case is a disgrace. Right. Is a disgrace from attempting to uh, intimidate folks that, that were uh, uh, professors and other experts that were going to testify by having this for the first time broadcast on television and you had to have the United States Supreme Court come and slap him down and say, no, you can't do that to attempting to get all of the internal campaign documents of the Protect Marriage group that ran Proposition 8. There was actually a claim in discovery that all of the internal discussions of, of this group should now be open and public, and uh, Judge Walker was willing to do that. <coughs> Luckily, the Ninth District, not known as a conservative court by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> and the ACLU, stepped in to say this was a complete abridgment of our First Amendment rights. This is how far it's gone. Our right to speak, our right to organize, our associational rights. You now have some judges willing to say, uh, we're going to trump those rights with our, uh, our uh, will to force same-sex marriage on you. Now, why is this all important? Well, it's all important because for all the talk of rights and benefits, for all of the talk of uh, this is just about, this is not going to affect you, we know there are consequences to same-sex marriage. And what the courts are saying is essentially, you have the right to believe what you believe in the privacy of your home and church. But if you try and act on it, you are now a bigot, equivalent to the racial bigots of the 1960s. And the government is going to treat you that way. Now we don't round, uh, round up and lock uh, uh, racists up in prisons. 
but the government powerfully intervenes, and I believe rightfully so, uh, to marginalize a view that it sees as profoundly anti-democratic. Think about what that means for those of us that believe that marriage is the union of a man and a woman. If the government puts us in the same position, which they've already done in their talking points, you know, we are racists. We know that's not the case. Especially when 61% of African American voters in the District of Columbia want, want the right to define marriage as the union of a man and a woman. <laughs> Quit hijacking the civil rights yeah, movement. But what does it mean? Can a racist organization have a 501c3 tax exempt status? No. Can you run a radio? Can you run a radio station? Can you get a radio broadcasting license? No. What about professional licenses? Even being a doctor or a lawyer, professional licenses. The government and organizations powerfully intervene. That is the way that they want to treat us, and that is not. That is why I'm not surprised that these courts have gone as far as they've gone, and we face what we face in states like Maine, where an ethics commission can try and go on a witch hunt to try and claim that we've done something wrong when clearly we've not. So it's up to you. This Perry decision is going to go through the courts. I have to tell you, at the lower court, I think we're going to lose. And then it goes to the U.S. Supreme Court. And if we don't have two million activists, by the time this rises through the courts, we are not going to be able to put the pressure on the courts and on Congress necessary. Because ultimately, if the court decides that it is going to create a national definition of marriage, namely same-sex marriage, which is what's at stake in the Perry case, the only way to stop that is for us to do the same thing uh, that has been done in states across the country, but to do it on the federal level and say, no, we the people still retain our right to define marriage.